everyone, Sensei Jeff here, Evolutionary Martial Arts in Syracuse, Utah, giving you another kind of some tips on some strikes, right? Today I would like to add what we call helicopter strikes, groin lifts, which a lot of people will just call an uppercut, right? And then some sticks or jabs, okay? Uh, remember, weapons are an extension of your hand. That is why when I say something like a groin lift, a lot of people will just call them an uppercut because to some extent, that is what that is. I know that's a poor one, so don't give me a hard time about it, but it is an uppercut. You have a bow in your hand, wham! It's an extension of your hand. So, I'd like to start here. My left hand is down, my right hand is up. We aim, we strike, one arm straight, give good posture, don't bend over, don't let the tip of your bow point down at the ground or way up high, there's nothing up there, okay? So we aim, we strike, we're gonna do a helicopter strike. The easiest way to think about this, the part of the bow that is under your left arm, we're just going to switch it and put it under our right arm. Now, we can do a side strike from here, the hand that is out in front, which is my right hand, I'm going to pull it to my left shoulder. So I pull it, and then I push it back. So there's a side strike on the right side of my body. I use that helicopter strike to get it there. So if I'm gonna take it back, the part of the bow that is under my arm, it's going to come back to the other side for a left helicopter strike. The reason why our karate studio calls them helicopter strikes is because the bow is spinning above your head, kind of like helicopter propellers, right? So we're here, side, side. Now from this side, from this right side, I'm going to take my right hand up, I'm going to slide my left hand down, I'm gonna do a very dramatic uppercut. Wham, just like that. I do like to curl my wrist in slightly, not a ton, but slightly, and I also like to get my elbow up for that good posture, right? So I'll show you again. I'm here, I put this under my right arm, I step back, bow goes up, left hand slides, we come all the way down, almost like if this was like a shovel or something, you're gonna flip some dirt all the way up. I also like to bring that straight up the center line of my body, okay? Another one that I told you we would do is a, like a draw stick, okay? I'm gonna do this going this way just so you can see it. So let's say I'm doing a strike here, whatever, whatever that strike may be, I'm going to slide back. I'm gonna keep the bow flat all the way. Some people like to add the looks. It's completely up to you. And then I'm gonna step forward and I'm gonna send it straight out, just like that. If it's a creative bow kata, I don't lean too much like you would see some people do in traditional bow katas, but you can practice it whatever way is appropriate for you. If I were to do that to the front, it would look something like this. I like to do the slide back, you don't have to. I keep that bow nice and level, and then I drive it forward right at my target. So, you can add those strikes to your katas for tournaments, or again, my students, check yourself, look at your bow strikes in your bow katas, and just come to the studio with those amazing strikes already in your kata, and be a leader, right? That will put you in the shoes of being that class leader coming in, showing us how well you're doing your strikes, talking about how you're practicing at home, and then we can kind of put you under the spotlight there, okay? Thank you guys so much. Have a great day.